Wondering how to get that dreamy custom font you've been eyeballing off of your wish list and onto your Squarespace website? By the end of this video, you'll know how to quickly and easily upload your own custom fonts, as well as how to use them to replace your current fonts or to create brand new font options such as an extra header or extra paragraph font. This tutorial calls for a bit of CSS, but I promise you it's not as techy and overwhelming as it looks. You can find all the copy and paste CSS snippets that you'll need for today's tutorial linked in the description below. We are also going to need to get our hands on a custom font that we love. If you don't already have a font picked out, one of my favorite places to shop design elements for use with your Squarespace site is creativemarket.com. Etsy is also another great one and pretty much any online font shop or free library. Wherever you get your font, just make sure you have the license to use it. For this tutorial, you'll need to have your custom font files saved directly to your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a free font from Google Fonts for use in my example. So I've already downloaded this font called Shermon Man to my desktop and opened the zip file it came in so I can get access to the goodies inside. Now let's look at step one, which is uploading your custom font to Squarespace. This step looks the same no matter which version of Squarespace you're using. So first we're gonna to go to head under your design panel and then to custom CSS. Scroll down here to where it says manage custom files and then click this area to upload your file. Your custom font should have downloaded either as an OTF, TFF, or WOFF file format, and it may have come with several variations of your font like bold, semi-bold, regular, or thin. I'm gonna upload the regular version of my custom font for now. All right, on to the next step, assigning your custom font to one or more of your font formatting options, which looks just a tad different depending on which version of Squarespace you're using to build your site. So when formatting your text blocks in Squarespace 7.0, you'll have a heading one, heading two, and heading three, and then normal, which is the paragraph type font you'd use in the body of your content. Whereas in Squarespace 7.1, you actually have four headings and three paragraph font format options. So let's use CSS to assign our new font to one or more of our current formatting options. First things first, we need to copy and paste this little snippet of CSS in our CSS window. Then replace font name with whatever it is you're going to call your font. It doesn't have to match its real name, by the way, it can be a shorthand or a nickname. So as long as you write it the same way every time, Squarespace will know you're trying to use your new custom font. Then we need to grab the URL of the font that we just uploaded to Squarespace by clicking Manage Custom Files, click on the font, and it will automatically populate for us. You just wanna make sure your cursor is set between these two brackets before you click it so that the URL ends up sandwiched between them. Now that Squarespace knows what we are calling our custom font and where to find it, we can start assigning it to whichever fonts we please. So here in my example 7.0 site, I've written out some sample text for each font formatting option I have, heading one, heading two, heading three, and normal. Don't forget to actually assign the correct format to the sample before you start this next step so you can see the style changes happen in real time. Now we need to grab the bit of custom CSS that relates to the font option we're trying to style. So for heading one, I'll grab this one, making sure to input my new custom fonts nickname and voila. Every time I select heading one from the dropdown, it should use my new custom font. If you need to make changes to its size, weight, spacing, etc., you can do that using the built-in site styles editing features. This saves you adding unnecessary CSS to your site, which can slow down your site load speed, but also create more opportunities for human error. And if you've ever worked with CSS before, you know all it takes is one misplaced comma or bracket to seriously mess with your design. One thing to note is that you will no longer be able to edit the font family here in your site styles editor since the CSS you added is overriding the built-in features. So in order to swap out a different font family, you have to crack back open the CSS window. The steps for doing this is the same for every font option in both Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1. You just need to be sure you're grabbing the right bit of CSS as this little bit of code that identifies the font you're trying to style is different from one version to the next. I'll include a link to all the copy and paste codes you need in the description. So that is how you would swap out one of your current font formatting options. But what if you want to add an additional option on top of what's natively here in your text block dropdown menu, say a heading five and six. 
This second option for using your new custom font is pretty quick and easy and a great way to add an extra bit of flair to your fonts without having to replace the headers you are already using throughout your site. You can technically add as many new fonts as you'd like, but to stick with the design best practices, I definitely recommend limiting yourself to just a few fonts that you use consistently throughout your site. So here's how that's done. Since we can't go adding extra options to this drop-down menu, we need to rely on using code blocks to get our fancy new text on the page. So decide what you will call your new font formatting option. I'll call mine heading five or H5. You're gonna add the name between these two brackets. Then I will write out the text that I want to appear in my heading five font. Now I hit save and head back to my CSS window. Now I just need to tell Squarespace how to style it. But since this font format is not natively available in Squarespace, I can't use my site styles editor to tweak its size, weight, color, spacing, etc. So I have to use CSS to code that in. I'll copy and paste this bit of CSS. Changing each of the font properties as I please. I can make it bigger or smaller, heavier or lighter, use color codes to change its color from the default black, change the letter spacing, and the spacing between each line if you have more than one line of text. So that is how you add your custom fonts as an additional option rather than swapping out one of your current fonts. Remember, getting your business up and running online is about more than just a pretty website. So whether you are brand spanking new to Squarespace or you're a total web design machine, you're going to want to get your hands on my Squarespace pre-design workbook and checklist where I'll walk you through all the steps I take before every single site design, including nailing down my exact ideal visitor profile, the most vital information visitors will be searching for on my site, gathering inspiration and creating my design mood board in Squarespace, and properly prepping my site content prior to upload. I'll pop the link to my free Squarespace pre-design workbook and checklist in the description for you below. Now remember, if you found this video helpful, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And remember, for the best Squarespace tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and tap that little bell button to be notified when new content drops on my channel every single week. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos too.